So if you're looking to turn material like this, and this is actually a stainless steel or parts this size, then Victor CNC have a solution for you. In fact, they've supplied one of these V-turn 40s here to McGreevy Engineering in Ireland, which is where we are today. Tommy, how long have you had this machine? Uh, we've had it over three years now. And the particular parts that Ian just looked at there on camera, are they for the, what, what sort of industry? They were for the oil industry, very, very tight tolerances, uh, and we bought the Victor with them in mind. There's a lot of metal to be removed on those as well, isn't there? Yeah, quite a bit of metal. Um, we usually buy it in this tube, you know, so it comes in with about 10 or 15 millimetre on the diameter and 10 or 15 millimetres on the bore. But the fact that it's stainless steel, the parts that you're looking at are actually quite small. Some of the other parts were over a half a metre till a metre long, you know. The, Vic the Victor machine, this was your first Victor lathe, and that says something because there's lots of turning centres lathes in the marketplace that are, are available with with a, a two metre bed or a 2.2 metre bed length like this, why did they get the order from you guys? Um, we got the uh, we got the Victor because at the, at the time whenever we bought it, it was the best on the market. Price range, capacity, everything, it just suited our needs. Did, did the build quality come into it? Because we look at a lot of Victors and people go, actually, it's down to how heavy they are, it's down to them, uh, you know, the machine not vibrating when you're doing parts like this, and, and a machine that's gonna last many, many years doing high quality work yeah well we did do our homework on it we, we went round uh, some of the uh, the factors that have been around some of our customers and competitors had a look at them and seen what they were doing with them and um, as I say this this one here the rigidity and everything seemed to do this and seemed for the job tell me about the, the, the turret on this how many tools can you get and is it, you haven't got driven tools have you uh, no there's no driven tools in this here uh, 12 I think is the, uh, the past the end of the month and why did you just go for a straight turning machine without any milling function? I know these parts are straight turning, but some of the other stuff I've seen does have, have milled flats and, and milling operations on it. Well, we already have quite a few machines in the factory. We have got mill turns in it. We went for this in here because the length of the parts that we were currently being asked to do, as I say, were over a half a metre long. And any of our current machines didn't have that capacity. This one did. So we're able to do the turning on here. And if it had a milling operation or you know holes or anything, we don't open the milling. Because I've said already, this machine's just over two meters. They do a 3.25 meter bed length, and now a 4.2 uh, meter bed length. They also have a y-axis on this machine. Can you see that have ever been any any benefit to you in the future going for that additional axis? Um, if we get the turning work, yeah. At the minute, we don't have any requirement for it. But um, some of the work that we've done in the past, if it had uh, C axes or anything on it, yeah, it would certainly be a benefit. Yeah. And do you know? I might trip you up here, but what's, what's the chuck size on this? 400 millimetres chuck, yeah. Okay. Quite a big chuck. It, it is a big chuck, and, you, and you've also got a steady with this machine, which I suppose you need for the longer part. Oh yeah, you need the steady, yeah. you can't do it without the steady. As well as that there, it's got a big bore up the centre, I think it's 100 millimetre off the top of my head. 100 mil, so you can bury bar to. Yeah, yeah. And this, this tailstock, is this programmable? Is this a drag and drop? Drag and drop, yeah. I was going to say, because you, you'd need big muscles to move that yeah, up a bit. Yeah, no, it's drag and drop, there's a pin at the back of it which uh, drops and goes into a slot, moves back and forward, yeah. Thank you very much for your time today, Tommy, and good luck uh, in the future. Thank you.